So our buddy Cross, that's his, uh, his screen name, says that he, for 10 years, he's been addicted to video games and it's, it's really, it's destroying his life because he doesn't go out anymore and all he wants, he's literally addicted to this thing. He doesn't go out, he's good at sports, apparently he's gifted in, in playing football and he loves football, but he won't even go do that anymore. Now this sound, that might sound silly to some of you guys, you know, oh you fucking loser, just turn off the video games and go outside and play. It's easy to say shit like that, it's easy to, to give advice and just be like, hey, you just man up and go and do it. But I, I totally get it, dude, I understand, you're, you're physically, physiologically, emotionally addicted to this shit, and I know why it can be. Because you're literally living in an abstract world. You, all of your personal identification with the characters in the game tie you up with it. It's like you're living in the video game. I understand, what, and I see a lot of people that it happens to. That's why I rant on video games so often. Because I see a lot of my friends, I'm like, dude, your life sucks because you won't turn that fucking thing off. But anyway, so he wants to know, how do I break free of this addiction? It's just like any other addiction, you know? You're addicted to cigarettes or whatever the case may be. I was talking to a friend yesterday and um, we were talking about how is it that some people can, can advance in life. How is it that some people can move forward and some people just seem stuck. They're just stuck in their life. They're stuck in mediocrity. They're stuck in the, the, the comfort that, the zone that they've created for themselves. It's because they, we as human beings need one of two things. It's always going to be one of two things and the first is the one that I'm going to tell you you're going to need to do. You need either a tragedy or you need a goal so big that it, it draws you, it pulls you out of bed. It's much more difficult to be pulled towards something than to have something chasing your ass, right? So you need a tragedy. You need something that's like biting at you at your ass. You know, it's much easier to run when a dog is chasing you and, and nipping at your ass than running towards a prize. You know, you, get, you give two people, you give one person two options and, uh, or you put them in two different cir circumstances. One, a dog is chasing his ass, he's gonna run. You're gonna fucking run because it's a tragedy. Or you're gonna get your ass bit. And then you put a million dollars at the, at the end of another one, that guy's gonna run too. But you know, if he knows the million dollars is gonna be there, he's not gonna run nearly as fast or with as much, uh, what's that word? Like, you know, intensity. There's a guy that's getting his ass bit. So you've gotta create a situation and I'm gonna tell you what to do. Yeah, it's going to be the most irresponsible advice that you've ever heard me give, but it's the only one that's going to make you do what you have to do, because I know that you can't reach. Otherwise, you would have reached. It's been 10 years. You're not, go you're not a goal person. And, I'll, and to be quite frankly, to be quite frank, it's difficult for even myself at times. If I don't have something nipping at my ass, you know, why go after something, right? You've got to really like brainwash yourself to do that. And that's a different story. But anyway, bro, you need to literally pick up your video game machine smash it to fucking pieces, walk out your house, get in your car, and go live in your car. Go somewhere, go, go check into a homeless shelter. You need to shake up your life like it's never been shook up before. Go, and, and you know, I'm being extreme here, but go live with your grandmother. Just, just smash your video game machine, go live with your grandmother, and you have nothing now. Now you have no choice, because you have no comfort, and you have no stability, and you have nothing but I gotta get off my ass. Go and live with your grandmother is gonna be, it's gonna be too easy. You really need to go where, create a situation where you, you sink or swim, and you'll learn how to swim. You've got to place yourself in the midst of a storm, and it's got to be a self-created storm. Otherwise, you know, most people have to wait till the shit comes crumbling down before they, they take action in life. I'm inviting you to create a shit storm for yourself so that you will be motivated by the wolf crying at the door, by the dog nipping at your ass, by the fire under your ass. All right, dude? So you, there's no nice way to do this, right? Rip the fucking Band-Aid off. Throw yourself off the cliff and learn how to fly on the way down. Good luck.